In this video, we're going to do a brief uh, explanation and demonstration of prepare mode. Now, prepare mode is a great way to prepare what everyone's going to see on the screen within your layouts. However, you may want to do that without having people see you skip back and forth between those layouts. So, for instance, if maybe a student is doing a presentation and you're still listening and you're doing everything, but you need to go to another layout to make some changes, you obviously don't want to click out of that student's presentation while they're doing it. That would be, that would be bad. So to go into this prepare mode, you click on the meeting button and you enable and switch to this prepare mode. So again, what this does is it says you're now in prepare mode. This allows you to view and edit layouts without interfering with the presentation. So just like I said, someone else is presenting, but you really have some things you need to do from the edit standpoint. So changes can be made to the active pods and will be reflected uh, to the participants. So this prepare mode is really geared toward making changes to layouts. So what I'm going to do is um, go ahead and I'm cl clicking out of that. I just wanted you to see that that's what that message is and you can start to play with it. So right now it's telling me that I'm, this is my active one. You'll see this yellow area. So it's telling me that's where I am. If I were to click on this one, it, that would be my yellow area and that would be the one I could work on. Um, so what, this, what that warning was telling you is that, for instance, if I were to change um, something in a poll, like maybe say a poll is running and I were to change it, it would affect this poll running in any of the other layouts. So their kind of their point is is that yeah you can change the way the layout works but if you change a, a pod it will change. So I can go in here and let's say I want to let's say in this case I want to remove the poll. I want to hide that. It's not gone I'm just gonna hide it and I want to move this over. So if I do that and since I'm in that prepare mode it's not going to adversely affect uh, what the students are seeing. Or I could make a change to this one and share some content, make a change to this one. So that prepare mode again lets you do that without interfering with the current presentation. To leave the prepare mode, I will click on the meeting and then click on end prepare mode. And it will take me back to what's active and what's going on and I can go back into it if I need to. So it's not something you should have to use very often, but I would say if you're doing a lot of work on the fly or if you've got multiple presenters and you need to jump in there and make a change, you'll be able to do that through prepare mode without adversely affecting the current presentation.